Hello and welcome to the lesson. Let's solve this question on application of differentiation in kinematics. The displacement S meters of a moving particle after t seconds is given by S is equals to t cubed plus 3t squared minus 9t plus 2. Determine part A, the velocity of the particle when t is equals to 2 seconds. Then part B, the value of t when the particle is momentarily at rest. And then part C, the displacement during the fifth second. And the last one, the acceleration of the particle when t is equals to 2 seconds. So those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. Now for the first part, uh, for the part... Okay. For the first part, determine the velocity of the particle when t is equals to 2 seconds. So you're given displacement, you require to get velocity. Now to get velocity, you differentiate displacement. So velocity v is going to be given by, you differentiate displacement with respect to time t. So when you differentiate uh, t cubed, you get 3 t squared. Then when you differentiate uh, 3 t squared, you get 60. Differentiate negative 90, you get negative 9. So therefore, velocity is equals to 3 t squared plus 60 minus 9. So when t is equals to 2, you simply take this uh, velocity and then substitute t with 2 seconds so 3 t is 2 so this will be 2 squared like that plus 6 t is 2 subtract 9 so work out these so this will be 3 multiply by 2 squared is 4 then plus 6 times 2 that is 12 then subtract 9 so that one gives 15 so you get 15 meters per second that is velocity part b the value of t when the particle is momentarily at rest now the particle is momentarily at rest when velocity is equals to zero so the particle is at rest when velocity is equals to zero so what are you going to do to get uh, the value of t when the particle is momentarily at rest, we shall take the expression for velocity, which is a v, is equals, just got it from first part, uh, is equals to 3 t squared plus 60 minus 9, and then substitute v with 0, so velocity is equals to 0, so this will be 3 t squared plus 60 minus 9. So once you solve this uh, quadratic equation, you will get the value of t, and that will be the solution. So we can simplify this um, equation by dividing everything by 3, so that you get uh, 3. If we divide everything by 3, you get uh, t squared plus 60 divided by 3, you get 2t. Then negative 9 divided by 3, you get negative 3 is equal to 0. So you can solve this uh, quadratic equation. So I'm looking for two numbers whose product is um, product is negative 3 and sum is 2. Those numbers are um, negative 1 and 3. So negative 1 and 3. So t squared, this one is minus t plus 3t, using factorization method, minus 3 is equals to 0. So factor out, so t is common here. So here you factor out t, you remain with t, subtract 1, then plus 3 is common, t subtract 1 is equals to 0. Like that. So this one will simplify to t plus 3 multiply by t subtract 1. So you shall have two values of t. And the first one is when t plus 3 is equals to 0, you shall get t to be equivalent to 3. You're going to ignore these. You are going to ignore that t is equals to negative 3. And the reason is because 
uh, time can't be negative cannot get negative time then the other one is uh, t subtract 1 is equals to 0 so for this one t is equals to 1 second and that is what you're going to take as a solution so the value of t when the particle is momentarily at rest is 1 second so part c the displacement during the fifth second so what do you mean by this displacement during the fifth second that is the displacement between the four seconds and five seconds that is what we mean the displacement during the fifth second you're going to get that by taking the displacement at five seconds that is when t is equals to five then we subtract the displacement when t is equals to four seconds when you get that difference that will give us the displacement during the fifth second so we take the expression for displacement so s is equals to it is up here the expression for displacement is here t cubed plus 3t squared t cubed plus 3t squared minus 9t plus 2 minus 9t plus 2 so minus 9t plus 2 so let us get the displacement when t is equals to 5 so you just substitute here so this will be 5 cubed plus 3 5 squared minus 9 5 plus 2 so that one will give us the displacement when t is equals to when t is equals to 5 then we subtract and t is equals to 4 so this will be 4 cubed plus 3 4 squared minus 9 4 plus 2 like that so once we get these these will give us the displacement during the fifth second so we work out these so 5 cubed my this is a plus plus 3 5 squared minus 9 5 plus 2 this will give 157 so this will give 157 meters this is displacement or distance then subtract when the displacement when t is equals to 4 seconds is equals to 4 seconds that will give um, 78 meters so now you can subtract 157 subtract 78 that will give 79 meters so that now represents the displacement during the fifth second we go to the last one the acceleration of the particle when t is equals to two seconds now we want to get acceleration how do we get that so to get acceleration acceleration is given by when we get we differentiate velocity with respect to t so do we have uh, the expression for velocity yes it is here so velocity is here the expression for velocity we got it it is here is here so v is equals to 3t squared 3t squared plus 6t so 3t squared plus 60 confirm minus 9 minus 9 so that is velocity so velocity velocity is equals to 3t squared plus 60 minus 9 so now we differentiate v to get acceleration we differentiate velocity to get acceleration so we differentiate this and this is what you're going to get 3t squared differentiate that you'll get uh, 6t then differentiate uh, 6t with respect to t you get plus plus 6 like that so 9 negative 9 you, go, you don't have t so you're differentiating with respect to t so you leave it at that so acceleration is equals to 
6t plus 6. So when t is equals to 2, you just uh, need to substitute here. So acceleration would be given by 6. Then t is equals to 2 plus 6. So this will give 12 plus 6. And this will give 18 meters per second squared. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question.